Hi guys, let's discuss about Cosio's mate, also known as Dovetail mate today. This checkmate pattern is named after Carlo Cosio, an Italian chess player who lived in the 1700s. It's also called Dovetail mate because the resulting mate pattern apparently looked like a dove's tail. Let's see how it works. Here we play as white, and there's a forced checkmate in two for white here using the Dovetail mate pattern. First we go Queen H6 check. Now only one legal move for black. King G3. And now Queen H2 is a checkmate. Well, as you know, the queen is a powerful piece that controls a lot of squares. So as long as there is this um, pawn and queen or other black pieces in diagonal pattern like this, it's possible to mate the black king as long as the queen is protected. And this is only one orientation uh, possible of the dovetail mate. The checkmate can also come from this side if the king is that side. Let me just show you, let me uh, rearrange the board. So this is how it looks like from the other side. Again, the queen is a powerful piece, control everything. So uh, it's very dangerous to have black piece in diagonal like this uh, around your king, um, which complete the mating net for the black king. Here is yet another possible orientation. Now the, um, the black piece occupy different diagonal, but the logic is still the same. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, you know. Um, you just try to fit the king there and uh, make sure the queen is protected and deliver checkmate from that side. And the last orientation looks like that. Again, same diagonal as before, but the king is here instead of uh, on g4. And the queen delivered a checkmate, uh, the protected queen that is, delivered the checkmate. So in Cosio's mate, there are four uh, possible orientation, um, you can see. Uh, but the pattern and the logic uh, stays the same. Basically, a protected queen. Um, the queen can be protected by any piece, not just the king. Um, can be a bishop, can be a rook, can be a knight protecting the queen. Uh, giving a checkmate on a black king that is sort of trapped by his own pieces. Let's see an actual example from an actual game now. Uh, we're playing as black and here is actually there's a, there's a force mate in three in, uh, in the pattern of dovetail mate. The position is very dynamic. Um, our bishop is not guarded, but uh, we managed to sort of corner the white king. Uh, we have our queen very nearby. We have our um, knight to attack. And when our knight move, uh, the rook will have the open file. But still, you need to uh, calculate a bit to get uh, the checkmate here. As I mentioned earlier, to uh, be able to perform Cosio's mate, most often you need to um, calculate quite a bit and do a bit of maneuvering with the queen. It's uh, it's almost like a jigsaw puzzle. Here, uh, one thing to realize is that if you're playing black, is that if this queen here on f3 is on c2 instead, then we have an easy Cosio's mate, right? On uh, queen e3. But the queen is not on c2, so... And it seems a bit difficult to get it there. Can we get it there? The answer is actually yes. Um, first, we go knight b3 check. Now, if uh, a takes b, then simply uh, queen c2 is a checkmate. So in the previous uh, position, the queen has to take, because there is no other way. And now here, the queen is already very close to uh, where we want it to be. Now we go rook c2, check, sacrificing the rook. Now again, there is no other move. Uh, the queen has to take. And now that the queen is already there, and the rook is already there. The jigsaw puzzle is sort of set, right? All that is left is to checkmate the king. Queen e3, checkmate. Let's look at another position. Um, let's practice this time. Uh, feel free if you guys want to stop the video and analyze the position for yourself first, and then we'll solve it together. There's a forced checkmate here for white. Uh, forced checkmate in four, in fact, with the Cosio's mate. Okay, let's see. First, we go g takes f7. Uh, check, very natural actually, um, give this cover check, and then take the rook. Now king takes f7, and now here I think you, you can sort of like uh, see the, the pattern already, right? It's important to visualize the pattern in advance so you know where you want your queen to be. Now if our queen on h6 is instead on g8, then we have the Cosio's mate, or the dovetail mate, with the usual pattern. So how do we get it there, is the question. Again, it's like, it's like playing jigsaw puzzle. 
how do we get the opponent um, where we want it to be, how we get our queen where we want it to be without changing this position. Because if the opponent is given a tempo, then uh, the mate is no longer there. So the best way is a queen h5 check. Now, black actually has an alternative uh, to parry with the rook, rook g6. But then this is a, an easier mate, right? Queen takes g6, king f8, and then queen g8 checkmate. So instead, if the king goes back, which is not an alternative, king f8, here we get the cozy host mate. Queen h8 check, king f7, the only move, and now I'm sure you can see the mate. Queen g8, checkmate with the dovetail pattern. Again, it's all about maneuvering the queen where we want it to be once we get the jigsaw puzzle ready. Okay, another position with the forced dovetail mate. Black to move and win. Again, as usual, please feel free to, to pause the video if you want to, and then we'll solve it together. Okay, how do we do this? Let's analyze the position first before moving. Well, we already have um, the rooks and the pawns, the white pieces. Uh, forming a diagonal mating net around the white king. So from the pattern that we know, we need to checkmate the white king with our queen, either from uh, g2, e2, e4, or g4. We have four choices actually. But what is the best square to do it from? Well, g2 seems a bit difficult because it's guarded by the rook. e2 is also guarded three times actually, by the two rooks and by the bishop. E4 seems difficult because uh, it's guarded by the queen and the rook. But G4, we can protect our queen with the pawn. And the king will be made it from there. So let's target the, the G4 square. How do we move our queen to G4? First, we sacrifice our rook. Rook takes G3 check. Now there's only one legal move for the white king, which is king takes G3. And now we go to uh, G7. Queen g7 check, only one legal move for white, which is going back to our original square, king f3. And now I can, I'm, I'm sure you can see the mating net, which is uh, queen g4 checkmate. And we have Kozio's mate here. Okay, last position we're gonna look at today. This is between uh, Sarah Wan playing white and Judith Polgar playing black in 1993. White just made a blunder actually. He moved uh, f4. The right move here given by computer is actually f3. White is still losing quite badly, but at least there is no force made. But white goes f4 and now there is a force made. Feel free to pause the video if you wanna analyze the position on your own first, and then we'll discuss it afterwards. Okay, black should continue with knight f3 here. Knight f3 check. Now if uh, king h1, then uh, queen h2 is a checkmate. So king f2 is probably best move. Now queen h2 check. If king f1 here, then bishop h3 is a checkmate. So king takes knight is probably best move. But now there's a Kozio's mate pattern here. Uh, we already have two pawns forming a diagonal mating net around the white king. Unfortunately, this square is not protected, so we cannot checkmate the white king from there but this square is protected so we can checkmate the white king from there from h5 that is if we can get the white king to g4 how do we get the white king to g4 well we sacrifice the bishop bishop g4 check now there's only one legal move for white which is king takes g4 and now only now we go queen h5 and it's a checkmate uh, the usual dovetail mate pattern okay guys that's all from me uh, for this video Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you find the content useful. That would really mean a lot to me. And uh, also, please check out my Checkmate Pattern playlist to study other Checkmate Patterns. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.